Hey guys, I'm Luke and welcome back to the third episode of Research World Rewind, our video digest series bringing you all the latest reading recommendations, some trending news items and fun little updates that we think you should have in your lives. So we're now six weeks into the new research world and if you've been enjoying the content, please do get in touch with us and let us know what your thoughts are and you can reach out to us on our Twitter, our Instagram, Facebook or even on our LinkedIn pages all of the information for which you can see on screen now and they'll also be in the description of the video below. So as I mentioned, and like in the last couple of episodes, we're going to give you our top five reading recommendations for this week. Now we've been continuing that theme of insights about retooling the insights team for more impact in today's fast changing world, as well as some of the challenges, as well as opportunities that they face in this challenge. Um, so without further ado, let's kick off this week's top five reading recommendations. <laughs> So the first reading recommendation for this week, are you listening? No, so I'll continue. And this is a piece by Edward Appleton from Happy Thinking People about the too long didn't read phenomenon that's increasing throughout offices across the globe. Number two for this week, Julia Laig, who's a user insights analyst from OLX Brazil, spoke to our resident Robert Haig about some of the challenges that she faces when re-equipping the insights team to make more impact. So make sure you check it out, it's an insightful read. Number three, Simon Chadwick from Cambria Research, and who's also our Research World Editor-in-Chief, wrote a great article about the capital investment in the marketing insights industry from 2018. And if you're someone that touches this industry at all, then this is definitely a read that you must see. It's got some loads of information and some very important information, so make sure you check it out. Number four, chatbots. Chatbots are super hype at the moment, and they're a fast emerging data collection tool. And if you've used them before, if you're wondering how you can use them, how artificial intelligence is related to them, then make sure you check out this article from Ray Pointer, who's one of our SMR council members, as well as the MD from Future Place. And our last reading recommendation for this week, Marketing Insights, Priorities and Challenges for 2019, some insights from brands such as Volkswagen, Aon and Spark Networks. And this was written by Paul Bergamini and it's absolutely something that you should be checking out. So those are our top five reading recommendations for this week. Make sure you check out all five. You really will not be disappointed. Um, and as I mentioned earlier in the video, and as we've said in the past couple of episodes, if you're enjoying the content or have any comments or recommendations for us, then please do reach out to us on our social media, which as I say, can be found here on screen or in the video description below. And if you're thinking, oh, I really enjoy what's happening on Research World and I want to contribute, then please don't hesitate to contact us at contact at researchworld.com and share your brilliant ideas with us. We're really looking forward to hearing from you. And so on top of all of that, here's this week's trending news items that we think you should know about. So the first news item for this week, remember that Google AI ethics panel that we talked to you about in the last episode? Well, it's been disbanded after just two weeks of being in existence. And if you're wondering why that's happened, then make sure you check out this article in Research World, as well as to hear about how SMR has been invited to participate in a similar ethics panel, which is being facilitated by the EU. Really interesting read, so make sure you check it out. Second on the news items for this week, how many people do you think are listening to your conversations with Amazon Alexa? 100, 200, 1,000? If you want to know, then make sure you check out an article that I recently wrote on Research World about this topic, as well as to have a look at it from an ethical perspective from one of our data standards professionals. Something else for you guys to know about who are touching the data and insights world at the moment, Insights Consulting recently announced that they've acquired a Paris-based creative crowdsourcing company called IYICA. And if you want to read the announcement about this acquisition, then make sure to check it out on Research World. And the last little news item for this week and for this episode, Kantar has recently hired Microsoft's Reid Cundiff to be their new Chief Executive Officer for the North America region. And Reid is also going to be a Program Chair at our SMR Congress in September in Edinburgh. So if you want to hear about the new hire and the new acquisition, then have a read of the article that we've just published. And to finish off this week's Rewind episode, here are two little SMR updates that we think you should know about. So as we told you guys in the last episode, our Young SMR Society Award pitch submission is officially open for our Congress in Edinburgh in September. So if you're 35 and under and you're looking for the perfect platform to submit your brilliant idea, 
then this is absolutely something that you should consider. And if you want to know anything about the submission process, just head to smr.org forward slash awards and check it out. I can highly, highly recommend. And last but not least, in the coming months, we've got our Asia Pacific Conference, the 20th anniversary, and our Summer Academy 10th anniversary conference happening in Macau and in Amsterdam respectively. So register now if you haven't, and if you want any more information about these events, just head to smr.org forward slash events to check it out there. It's got everything you need. So that wraps up episode three of our Research World Rewind. I hope you've enjoyed. As always, make sure you're following us on social media. You can find it all down below in the video. And if you've got any questions or comments related to any of the content on Research World, as I say, please do get in touch either through social media or at contact at researchworld.com. I look forward to hearing from you guys and I'll see you in the next one.